and couldn't find a weather <laughs> clicker. She's over there looking at me like. I can't, do you know where the clicker is? I can't find it right yeah, now. She found it. I did find it. You know, I'm I surprised it's the first what was time going on. this happened to me here. But, <laughs> you know, I've been doing pretty good, but it's going to happen sometimes. Hey, you got a neat picture to show Yeah, with I have us? a pretty picture to show you. And then, I ha then you want to stick around for the end of the show because I have some really spectacular pictures to show you somewhere else. But this is from around here, the fall color just so beautiful. Can't get enough of it. Thanks to Brandon for sending that in. And of course, we got to see it later this afternoon once we cleared all this fog out. So that's the big concern for tomorrow morning, and we are going to have to watch out for that again. Look how dense and thick it was. We had advisories going on. It did not clear out until after 8 o'clock, and it caused just a mess on the road. So definitely something you'll want to be aware of tomorrow morning because that potential will be there. So you may want to try to set the alarm a little bit earlier and get out a little bit earlier so you don't have to deal with that mess or just wait for it to clear. Clear altogether. 59 degrees out there right now, thanks to the cloud cover. Uh, temperatures have been a little bit slower to fall, but as we go through the rest of the night, we are going to see those temperatures drop thanks to a front that's swinging on through. And so as those temperatures drop, that's when we're going to see that potential for the fog to develop. But right now, uh, we're seeing mainly uh, decent visibilities out there up and down I-5. Uh, starting to see it dip a little bit along coastal areas. Overnight lows tonight down to 47. Slight chance for a little bit of drizzle as we wake up tomorrow morning. And again, watching for some of that patchy fog and areas of fog to develop. Uh, here's a look at the front. And you can see the cloud cover here associated with the front. But where's the rain, right? This is a very wimpy system, very weak system. And so we did get a few showers going. Going along Astoria. If you'll take a look at this time lapse here, you can see where some of that rain did roll through. It did not amount to much, and of course, uh, then it all really just ended. And so things are drying out, and we're not getting much from the system either. So we continue to stay down for the month of October when it comes to the amount of rain. How does tomorrow shape out? Well, we're going to be looking at temperatures in the mid 60s for I 5. We'll start off with the clouds and the fog, but it's back to the sunshine for the afternoon. Low to mid 60s along coastal areas, and then central and east, we're back to the 60s. Friday morning, we wake up to a very chilly start. Uh, thanks to fewer clouds around tomorrow night, and thanks to drier conditions behind this front. Uh, temperatures will fall really quickly, and that's where we could see some areas hit their first frost for the season in the valley. Now, these will be outlying areas. Most of us will not see the frost, but something we'll be keeping a close eye on. So just think tomorrow night, you may want to bring in some of those special plants if you live uh, out and away from the city out in the valley. Central and east, we're back to the sunshine for the afternoon. Saturday, we're staying dry here with more sunshine and temperatures staying in the mid 60s. The next system is approaching this weekend. It's just going to take its time getting here. And so our best rain chances look to arrive late Sunday into Monday. And even at that, the system does not look like it's going to be a big rainmaker for us at all. And so look at these totals for where we are so far. We're at less than half an inch for Portland. Uh, we should be closer to about two inches uh, right now. So we are way down, over an inch down for Portland, Salem, Eugene, and Astoria. And of course, we're going to be looking at that drought situation sticking around because there's just not going to be anything to get us out of it anytime soon. And October is quickly moving out of here. It's going to be November before we even know it. Uh, tomorrow morning, fog and clouds. In the morning, mostly cloudy as we go through 10 a.m. This back to the sunshine, mid 60s, mid 60s again Friday. So again, Thursday night, that dip in the temperatures. And then we go into the weekend and we're back into the mid 60s and hoping for rain uh, late Sunday into Monday because we need it. This yeah. is the start of a new water year and we're just super dry. Okay, looking ahead to next week, Halloween's mm -hmm. going to be on a Saturday this year. And there's something else that happens that Saturday night. Oh, there's going to be an asteroid. That's, or is that what you're talking no. about? No. Are you talking about a party? Clocks. No. Oh, I bet. Clocks, that's right. Okay. <laughs> but there's going to be an asteroid, I, I thought too. So, okay, first Sorry, it goes to Christy. science, then it goes to a party. Yeah. So, okay. I should, I should have run that by you. Yeah. Is there a party we need to know about? <laughs> no, I'm never invited to oh. the party, so I don't Apparently, know. Apparently, I'm not invited to this one either. <laughs> but you get an extra hour of sleep that Saturday. Man, that just summed my whole, my whole yeah. personality up okay. right there. Yeah, well. God, I'm sorry <laughs> I brought that up. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Still ahead tonight, we have some breaking news about the Portland Thorns and star player Alex Morgan. Oh, sorry about that, Kristen. <laughs> and join us for Coin 6 News this morning. Ken, Jenny, Sally, and Carly will get your day off to a right start. And it starts at 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> mm -hmm.